Hey everyone, so I did a blog post earlier today and I realized that I probably went a little faster than I usually did and that I skipped one particular step that I thought I just wanted to drill down into a little bit and that is something that actually came out in Intex Workflow Cloud about uh, a week ago and that is the whole concept of import-export. Now, uh, this was a big one, uh, especially again, given that uh, the Intex Workflow Cloud tool is, uh, is sort of fairly new out into the public so this has been really big so the cool thing about this is you see this screen here which is the the Nintex workflow cloud kind of main page that you see as soon as you log in and you see all the workflows that I've got at the moment in this one now the awesome thing about this is that once I've built out a workflow the thing that is different to you know what you might expect with an import export function is that you actually don't see the import export function up here in the ribbon. It's not in the actual designer. The import and export functionality is actually on this uh, workflows dashboard. So you'll see if you want a particular workflow, let's say this simple contract test workflow, I can just go over here, click on the ellipsis or the options dots here, and there's the export. Now the other thing to note is you'll notice that you can click on generate and you get an ID. Now you get or a workflow key. Now what that means is that you can then go to another environment, like let's say this is your, your test environment or maybe you've seen a workflow on some blog post and they wanna share it out uh, that was built in Intex Workflow Cloud, you get this workflow key. Then what you do is you come into your environment, you go into your workflows dashboard here and at the top right, there's a button up here called import. And when you click on that, that's where you click on where you paste that workflow key, give it a name, you can call it whatever you want, and then you click on import. So it's really easy. Now, this the cool thing about this, and this is something that I kind of didn't really expect, which I think is really awesome, is that uh, the import export is no longer files that you have to, you know, click on export and download a file and store it in a, on a disk and maybe store it in some sort of source safe or um, you know, some sort of source control. Uh, environment, you don't have to worry about any, any, don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff. Uh, Nintex Workflow Cloud handles all that for you, and this is a nice way for you to share stuff. So, hopefully, over the coming months, you'll see some other workflows appearing on the Nintex Exchange. So, if you haven't seen that, have a look at that. It's Exchange, but it's x c h a n g e dot Nintex dot com. So basically an exchange without the first E. Uh, and there's uh, that's where people go and share their workflows and their UDAs and, and forms and things like that. So hopefully you'll see some workflows over there and you'll be able to go there, click on one, have a look at it, read up about it, maybe watch a video, and then you'll see a workflow key there, which you'll be able to copy and paste and import it into your environment. So really easy to get your workflows in and out of places. So hopefully you guys have a lot of success with that. So with that, keep this one short and sweet. Uh, good luck with it, and if you have any questions, let me know.